The President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, has said the National Assembly holds no predetermined position on any of the issues of interest to Nigerians ahead of the, the moves to amend the 1999 Constitution. And some of the issues of restructuring, um, according to the Attorney General of Nigeria, the um, President does not entertain the issue of restructuring. He has condemned the resolution of Southern Governors Forum, calling for restructuring for the country. He said the Southern Governors have no moral justification to make the call, adding that if they want the country to work, they should start from their states. Well, joining me to discuss this briefly is Biodo Shoumi, a political analyst, and Tunji Abdulhamid, a legal practitioner. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. It's my pleasure. All right. I'm going to start with Tunji. Thank you for having me. Tunji, uh, you are obviously a, a legal practitioner. So you, when we talk about a constitutional review here, it obviously means that Nigerians are allowed to make imputes. Um, and and this, this is split into different states and regions. Um, but then, of course, we know that one of the biggest issues on the lips of Nigerians is the issue of restructuring. Um, but if the... The Attorney General of the Federation, who is an aide to the President, has come out to openly say that the, governor, uh, the President does not entertain uh, the issue of restructuring. Why are we having a constitutional review? Are we going to have another confab with no-go areas? What is the essence? Yeah, the comment from the Minister is unfortunate. And uh, it's sad that it's coming from the Minister of uh, Justice of the country. The minister, the minister, the minister, the minister uh, by that comment, the minister made the president to be the owner of the country because he's saying the president cannot or will not entertain the structuring. The country does not belong to the president. If the people are willing to, to have the structuring, the president has no choice. He has to go with what they are looking for. So say, telling us that, you know, the, that, that, that's the confirmation of the mindset of those in government. They see the government. Uh, they, they are positioned where they are holding, as they are, they, are, they are Alpha and Omega, and they are the owner of the country, or they can do and not do. So I, I think that statement from the minister is unfortunate. The restructuring is a very serious issue that everybody has been complaining of. When you say restructuring, you are talking about doing things differently. That does not mean, if you are doing something that people are not satisfied with, or if something, so, or there are a lot of agitation which needs to be addressed, and the, the issue of uh, 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 structuring is part of it. So you, you have to look into it. The president has no choice. What if it's the choice of the people? If they will not, the, 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 the will of the people to have restructuring. It is not. It, it is not. It is not for the president to determine whether or not we are going to have restructuring or we are not going to have restructuring. So as far as I'm concerned, that statement from the uh, minister is unfortunate and, uh, and 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 it's sad. Let me come to you, Mr. Shawumi. Um, the Attorney General has openly spoke, uh, spoken about this issue. I mean, it, it was everywhere. It's the most trending issue after the Governor of Cross River State's defection to the APC. Um, and he emphatically said that the President isn't interested in the most important issue on the lips of Nigerians. And again, I want to ask, um, how do you try to open a door that the key has been thrown away or even thrown into the bottom of the sea? Uh, if you want that door open, you obviously have to get a bulldozer or a hammer or something. But that, the key to that door has been shut or rather mm -hmm. thrown away. So even if the National Assembly is going ahead with this constitutional review, um, we have agitations across the regions of the country. We have IPOP in the southeast. We have the militants in the south-south. We have um, in the southwest the banditry. And we also have Boko Haram. I mean, there's a lot of issues. And they have ethnic tensions as their undertone. If we do not talk about restructuring, how do we get a new constitution or review the constitution and make it something that can accommodate all of the concerns of Nigerians? Yeah, it's quite unfortunate that we have an attorney general of the Federation who obviously is trying to portray our president as if he's a pharaoh, you know, as if he's a king pharaoh. That is a king pharaoh that will not listen to cries of the subject, will not listen to a uh, divine uh, voice, let's set my people free. We are in a situation where many people are so worried about the rising tensions in the country, the kidnapping is on the increase. Uh, we've seen the mindless killing of innocent farmers, you know, by cattle herders of um, same extraction as the president. 
And the tension is so high that many people are now worried that the country can break if care is not taken. We have had calls for secession, not only from the southeast this time around, we now have it from the southwest. We have tension in the Middle East, and people are preferring solutions in order to avoid secession. We say, look, we need to talk and restructure the country in line with the spirit of true federalism as established by the founding fathers of our country. Now, we have an attorney general today who is now saying to the whole country that the issue of restructuring is a no-go area. That is, you cannot tamper with the structure which currently is about to collapse. So I think he's living in cloud purple land. I'm not sure the attorney general is of this planet. It's probably living in, in the moon. Uh, and I think um, it will rise up to the situation when events um, take shape as, as things goes on. But it's quite unfortunate that the Attorney General, if indeed he actually said so, it's quite a very, very unfortunate, it's regrettable, it shows his lack of appreciation of the security situation of the country, it shows his lack of feeling of the cries of so many millions of Nigerians um, today. And therefore, you ask yourself, uh, which kind of leadership do we have in the country? Uh, this time around, you ask yourself, what, who are the people, you know, around the president? I cannot blame the South governors. You know, all the Southern governors, you know, had the cries of their people and they rose up, you know, gallantly and decided to say it as it is. So it is unfortunate that the Attorney General is going against the wishes of half of the country. What else does he want? If you don't discuss restructuring, then there's no point in holding any national conference. To start with, it simply means that he will be heading those who are hell-bent on secession. I am not for secession. I am, I am for a restructured Nigeria where everybody can be stakeholders in their country, where we all can realize our aspirations. Okay. But not at the extent of uh, I being a second class citizen in my own country. And the position of the Attorney General is actually saying that I will remain a second class, which is quite unfortunate. Okay. Back to you, Tunji, before we wrap this up because we're out of time. Um, there are a lot of people who are saying that the problem of Nigeria is the 1999 constitution. Why are we reviewing it? Because there are people who se seem to think that we should be drawing up a totally different constitution that reflects the Nigerian people, starting with we the people. And of course, they're making reference to, um, you know, Sena climbs where the constitution reflects the will of the people. A, a lot of people have said that this constitution was not drawn for a democracy. So reviewing it, is it really going to cut it for Nigerians in closing? Yeah, why, why I agree that uh, the constitution is one of the one of the problems of the country because, uh, like like you said, the constitution told a, a lie against itself by saying we we've, ne we've never met and discussed uh, and, and draw that constitution it was drawn for us by the military and was imposed on us. So but why I agree that we have a problem with the constitution, we have some area lacunas or, 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 or omissions in the, in, in the constitution. I don't want to believe that changing the constitution or amending the constitution will sort our problems. Our problem is not only about the constitution, it's about the implementation of the constitution, those who enforce the constitution. If we are genuine enough, as bad as this constitution is, if we want to be sincere with ourselves, we want to be fair with ourselves, we can still implement this constitution and achieve results. Then what we have today is that people are not at selfish interests above the national interest. Interest, personal interests above the national interest. You see, you remember the last time when we want to amend the uh, electoral act, we were told uh, it cannot be amended now because this thing happened. Since that time now, have you had anything about it? Has it, has it, has it been, 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 been brought again to, to say, look, now that we have four years or three years before the election, let's quickly do it so that we can cut, cut off with time. So I want to say that, look, it is not, it is not, it's generally, it is not about the constitution, the, the constitution itself, you know. it's about us. If we are not sincere in implementing the provision of the constitution, as, it is, if, as bad as it is, if we are sincere in, 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 in implementing the way it is now, we we'll see achieve results. Beneficial okay. whereby those in government Mr. see Tunji, them, we see need to go now. Unfortunately, we're out they, of time. They, they I'm so law. sorry. As, as, so that, I'm so sorry we have to go. Tunji Abdulhamid is a legal practitioner and uh, Biodo Shoumi is a political analyst. Unfortunately, time is not our friend tonight, but I want to appreciate you for being part of the conversation. Thank you. Well, thank you all for staying with us and being part of this broadcast. Uh, well, we want to thank everybody for being here. We'll see you tomorrow on Plus Politics. I.
and Mary Annacle.